Good morning. I made a toucan. I know, he's amazing. He's amazing. Yeah. Toucan Sam. My children didn't know who Toucan Sam is. He's on a TV show for Cheerios or something like that. Fruit Loops, lady. Fruit Loops. You never, ever, ever get Fruit Loops anymore. We do not get Fruit Loops because during the school year. Dur no, Dad and Mom's policy is during the school year, it's like whole grain Cheerios, whiny kids. During the summertime, like, that's when we yeah, let them right. get their sugar cereals. Do you know what I hate more than rosacea? Covering my red, sensitive rosacea skin with makeup. And just like that, you just need a good concealer, a good foundation, a good powder, a good setting spray, <laughs> and bronzer, and highlighter, and hey, your rosacea's covered. I can feel it under my skin though. I can feel it under my makeup, and skin is angry, but. I'm not gonna lie to you, the Mississippi uh, humidity is doing my skin some good. Gouda is doing it some good. I'm a pig. Oh my gosh. The rainbow pig. Hi. <laughs> hey, that was, you just hit mommy. Did I just hear you say that this is a cruise? All right, babies, it is a new day in Mississippi. Boston's hiding. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stop it! Lincoln! Oh, Lincoln. Oh. I can hear Boston, but I just can't hear him. He's can right I? there! Well, you keep saying that, but I don't see him. Right there! If you didn't see yesterday's video, let me catch you up just a little bit. We are partnering with Visit Jackson that has set up all the places that we're going to and all the uh, food places that we're going to. And I just can't even get over how good the food has been since we've been here. And this morning they have us coming to breakfast at Brent. The outside looks super charming and cute. Um, so cute. <gasps> so cute! Why is this the best idea? This is the cutest! Aww, they have all the old, like, games. So cute! We met a few locals and they said to come here too, so apparently it's really good. The food just never disappoints. Like, it just doesn't disappoint, does it, kids? <laughs> this is so fun. Hello, can somebody cut it up? Aww, we'll cut it up for you. <laughs> Look at him cuddle you. Cheesy grits, Joel? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fun eating grits for breakfast. Fresh squeezed orange aid. We just made it to our next museum that we're gonna go to. So down over this way where the kids are going, this is the Museum of Mississippi History. And down on this end, we have the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum. When we got here, she asked where we went to breakfast and I told her we went to Brent's and she said, oh, that's where they filmed the movie The Help. Are you kidding me? I had no idea. All these items are in the museum and if you like touch on one, you can read about it. So cool. We're getting ready to watch a movie, kind of give talking about Mississippi's history. I cannot get over the way people have treated the kids. They've been so good to the kids, and it's been fun and educational. I did not think the kids were gonna do well at a museum, but we, this is our fifth museum so far. We have one more, and the kids are not bored at all. Yeah, museum's such a, like a, it's like almost not even a good word to use. I know. When we were, yeah, it's really fun. These museums have been very entertaining and educational, not boring at all. No. Which I was, I was skeptical. It's a Okay, Lincoln, push on. No, 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 no. was when the French came in and first met the natives. It was like they really didn't speak the same language, so what what exactly happened, you know? Google translation. Are you guys putting together your own flags? 
That's pretty cool. A random one. That's it. That's the direct spot. Being at this museum is a lot different than the other museums we've been to this week. This museum portrays a lot of Mississippi's challenging past and its slow but constant change and progress toward a hopeful and bright future. And I love that we're experiencing this with the kids right now. This is history coming to life in the most truest sense. I am standing here with Hezekiah Watkins, who was a freedom writer at the age of 13, correct? That's correct. And his information is in the museum that we're here to come and see. How cool is that? Really? So cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's Mr. Watkins <laughs> that's, right there. That's Hezekiah right when there. He's 13. He says not much of the day. Right? Hasn't aged a day. Not one day. Nah. -uh. <laughs> These are all the freedom writers, and Joel was saying he loves the diversity of their age, their color, their backgrounds, and they're just young. It's neat to see that this is a culture that was really fighting for something greater, and that's a, that's so amazing to me. And there's several uh, freedom writers that are here. The one you saw of us talking to. There was a, a couple others. Here. There's several other that are here today. Extensive arrest records. Extensive. <laughs> Of arrest records. <laughs> the kids. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you okay? Okay, <coughs> we're gonna try that again. <laughs> what I was gonna say the is the kids did super good in the museum. They loved it. Olivia, I think, was a real eye opener for her because she actually like understood what was going on in there. But we're just gonna let the kids run and play for just a little bit before we go back in. We came back to our hotel, the Hilton Jackson, is where we've been staying. They've got a buffet that we're coming to for lunch. The children were just acting up, so I had to like... Oh, were you? Look. <laughs> Should we just send the children in there and go back up to the room? Yeah. Two super embarrassing things that have happened to me so far at this hotel. The manager of the hotel came over <clears throat> to say hello to us and to greet us and Boston tipped over his water, water went everywhere, that was embarrassing. But he was super nice to us about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing, he was so gracious. And then last night we had a bunch of leftovers. They were so Leftover good pizza. and we didn't want it to go to waste but we were so full. And and so I brought it to the front desk. I was like, here's a box of pizza if you guys want this box of pizza. Here's the leftovers. And before they could even answer, the pizza slid forward and it was a huge box. It was huge. So this humongo box slid forward, hits everything on her desk. Pizza box opens and we're both just looking at each other like, okay. Pizza well, box dumps out. Yeah. Onto the so, floor. So we both look at each other like, okay, what are we supposed to do now? And at the end, I'm like, you still want pizza? <laughs> hey, Boston, did you see where they put Barry? <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> you kids find something to watch on TV. Dad and I are going to take a nap for one hour and then we will go to the last museum of the day. It was really nice just to sit here and watch TV and eat a little fruit. I think that's something that's super important in any vacation that you do, and this is what we try to do, is have just a little bit of downtime. Yeah, just a little, not like a ton, because you're here to like party, but a little downtime goes a long way. Everything <laughs> We're at the Museum of Art, and we were looking at these articles of clothing that were inspired by different animals. So the kids chose a different animal. So you choose an animal and you can make it to whatever you want. I choose a dress. I'm, 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 one thing I will say about Mississippi is how beautiful and green everything is. We're still at the art museum. We're just outside walking around. Doesn't it feel good out here? Well, the garden is so relaxing. Yeah. Oh, you daring little boy. <laughs> he graduated from just throwing his hacky sack through it to running through it. <laughs> Oh, Boston, that's so funny. If I were to design a dress, this is what I would design. No, you will not punch that over. <laughs> Olivia just put it together. If he pushes that over, I swear. 
I would not be surprised if he walked up and just pushed it over. Oh dear, something bad's gonna happen. Oh dear. I wish all of our roads looked as green as this. Aren't you kind of bummed that this is our last dinner here? Oh, I'm Link sad is just waking up. Done eating at fun restaurants. I'll tell you what makes me happy, other than, I mean, second to all the amazing food that we've had, like the incredible food we've had. My second favorite thing, okay, it's maybe tied with the first, but is watching my kids play in the warm, humid air and just being happy, hearing all the like southern music and eating the southern food. It just, this is fun. This is, this is good. I knew the food was gonna be good, so don't ask me why I'm surprised when it came. Oh my gosh. We got these for the kids, but we're gonna share them. <laughs> Do you hear that? Oh yeah, get it. Ooh, yes. Do you hear that? You guys probably can't hear him over me laughing. Oh yeah, the good I hope you know that. Oh my gosh, you know, I am fully satisfied watching Lincoln eat his food with his fingers. Yes. Dipping it in the beans. Listening to Cody grunt over his food. There's no fries, they're under it. Get in, get a fork. If you guys haven't tried Louisiana root beer, you are definitely missing out. I only had a sip but it was fantastic. They don't know it, but they are living the life. Boston's out there walking with his mac and cheese. Lincoln's playing with his root beer. Cody's throwing stuff, he's happy. Oh, I just, oh, there, okay, we won't watch Lincoln. <laughs> I don't think I could ask for anything else. What else do you need? to end the vlog here we want to say a very special thank you to visit Jackson for sponsoring and partnering with us for these videos here in Mississippi they are a tourism agency and they're the ones that put all of the meals all of the activities together for us and has just really made our trip wonderful have you guys enjoyed Mississippi oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna really miss Mississippi. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to our channel, we would love to have you part of our YouTube family and we'll see you guys tomorrow.